you want to add quality surround sound to your living room, with a minimum of fuss, the Samsung HWQ90R is the way to go, although you'll have to pay a pretty penny for it. It is among the priciest soundbars we've ever tested, and while we quickly became enamored of its rich, exciting sound, we were disappointed by such missing features as a night mode and room correction. The soundbar itself is also quite heavy, wide, and bulky, which means it might block the bottom of your screen if you put it directly in front of your TV on a table or credenza. Configuration Counting its wireless subwoofer and surround speakers, in addition to the main soundbar unit, the HWQ90R comes equipped with a total of 17 drivers, capable of delivering 7.1.4 sound. For the front left and right surround channels, the soundbar relies on a pair of side-firing drivers, while the wireless subwoofer's 8-inch driver handles the low-frequency effects. Last but not least, four up-firing drivers, two in the soundbar itself and one each on the two wireless surround speakers, supply the four height channels. Those four up-firing speakers achieve their height effects by bouncing sound off your ceiling, and are critical to fully experience Dolby Atmos and DTSX audio. The HWQ90R's main soundbar unit is hefty, bulky, and tall. The wireless subwoofer is average for its size, and can be placed pretty much wherever you'd like in the room, although you'll get more bass if you put it near a wall or in a corner. Next come the wireless surround speakers, which like the subwoofer aren't truly wireless, given that they come with power cords. Ports The HWQ90R is relatively generous when it comes to HDMI inputs, which is to say you get two rather than just one. The twin HDMI inputs sit in a cavity on the right rear side of the soundbar, along with an optical input, and an HDMI out with ARC. A second cavity on the left side of the soundbar contains a port for the power cord, while a USB port on the bottom of the unit is only used for installing firmware updates. Controls The HWQ90R's remote is very similar to what Samsung provides with its smart TVs, and it's identical to those I've seen that come bundled with other recent Samsung soundbars. It isn't backlit, but it has a pleasingly ergonomic design, and only a few well-placed buttons, making it easy to control even in the dark. If you're lucky enough to own a Samsung QLED TV, you can access the soundbar settings from the TV's menu, as well as via the Samsung One remote. The Samsung SmartThings app also gives you some basic control over the soundbar. Finally, you can control the HWQ90R using Alexa voice commands. Connecting the HWQ90R to my phone via Bluetooth was a snap. It also functions as a Spotify Connect device, and I was easily able to funnel my Spotify playlist to the soundbar, using the Spotify app. Performance Samsung's latest soundbars have impressed me with their big, powerful sound, and the top-of-the-line HWQ90R is the best of the bunch, boasting a wide soundstage, deep but not overpowering bass, and refined high-end details. To test out its Dolby Atmos performance, I tried one of my favorite Atmos demos, the sequence in X-Men Apocalypse, when a younger Scott Summers wrecks a bathroom stall with his nascent energy beams. The key moment in this scene isn't the crashing and booming, but rather the shower of tiny plaster particles that fall from the ceiling. The HWQ90R's four up-firing speakers give you the sense of debris falling around your head. A subtle, yet impressive height effect. I was however miffed by the HWQ90R's lack of room correction. If you're going to spend that much on a soundbar, it would be nice to be able to tailor the audio to your room's acoustics. Verdict While it's missing such key features as a night mode and room correction, the HWQ90R delivers the goods when it comes to killer audio. The soundbar's two HDMI inputs, and easy-to-use remote, as well as the IRC support that is supposedly on the way, are also a huge plus. That said, its price tag is a tough pill to swallow.